young people like me are uh, keenly aware of the climate crisis and are always looking for ways to try to address it. Though most people are aware of it, I don't think people um, are realize how dangerous it is for our future. Transportation is a huge contributor to climate change and school buses and buses in particular play a very large part of that sector. Children that ride school buses are particularly vulnerable to the impacts of air pollution. They have still developing lungs, they breathe at um, a faster rate than an adult. So their potential for exposure is much higher than the average person. So we're focusing on school buses in the urban areas to protect those children and the drivers of the school buses as well. So that program provides 100% of the incremental cost of a new electric vehicle or electric bus, and it also includes the cost of the charging station, which is really important. There's been a significant amount of interest from not only uh, municipalities as in public school districts, also from private school bus contractors uh, all over the state. To not have our youth exposed to emissions of any kind, uh, at least direct emissions from a vehicle that they're passengers on and in close proximity to for the majority of their young lives is, is important to everyone. We've always been interested in uh, in green and trying to green up the fleet we've always been understanding of the fact that we have uh, a, a lot of responsibility in regards to a carbon footprint in uh, los angeles we have five uh, electric school buses that have been running for some time now uh, those buses have been very well received by the school districts. Getting drivers and keeping drivers is, is difficult. And, you know, a bus that's quieter and is nicer to drive. Once we get the drivers in the bus, uh, they don't want to leave. All of the bus manufacturers, I believe, have gone to great lengths to make the bus as similar as possible to what drivers are already accustomed to and uh, that gives them a certain level of comfort of not thinking that they're stepping into a, you know, some newfangled spaceship. Same way you would start any other bus. That indicator right there with the arrow, green meaning go, the arrow means you can go forward or backward. The bus is now running. The bus is, uh actually handle much better than a, a diesel bus does because you've lowered the center of gravity by putting the batteries down low. And something to think about almost before you start thinking about anything with tires attached to it is, is infrastructure and planning your uh, charging equipment. Making sure the electric is available, uh, the proper electric is available, I will say, the proper voltage, the proper amperage, uh, and in some instances, there's some upgrades that have to be done. Who knows how these bu uh, buses are going to work in Newark as opposed to Sussex County? Take Newark, for example. Will the bus be able to do the entire route if there's a day where traffic is backed up for 45 minutes? Or in Sussex County, if there's a snowstorm and it's stuck in a storm for, is there going to be any issue with the heat being on or whatever? We can do it abstractly, but let's actually put it into place. It's great to talk about theoret theoretically what would happen but it's much better to see what happens in practice. The maintenance factor, uh, the charging stations, there's so many multiple issues that have to be resolved. And I just think this is the way to do it. As a state, we have to uh, give the proper funding to make this happen. And this is an opportunity to really change the way America works. And uh, I, I just think the timing could not be better. We really need to meet the moment. This is the time. 
everybody is focused on this issue, not just in the state, but nationally and internationally. So we need to capitalize on that and, and bring whatever available resources we can bring to bear on this.